Hey everyone, Jim Tedesco here from Millennium County version 2.0. <laughs> well, it hasn't been that long since I did the last uh, update, but I've got a new one. And I got a lot done. Well, I think I got a lot done anyway. <laughs> so, without any further ado, I'm going to show you what it is. Hang on, let me reposition the camera. All right, first off, the ceiling is completely finished. All thing. And not a minute too soon either. <laughs> that was tough. Now, I still got to finish the trim. I got it up, the, up to the end of the back wall. I still got to do the side wall yet. And I'll get around to that soon. Also start doing the bench work. So the bench work, for anybody who wasn't aware, is going to be three foot deep. It starts over here and goes all the way down. I didn't get real far on it. It's a bit of a job to do this. And to do it correctly takes a little bit of time. But it's good and solid. I can walk on this thing if I needed to. So I want to get it down to the end there and then we'll start on the back wall. And I'll probably show that the next time. I also bought some 2x8s. Now that's not the correct incline yet, but it will be soon. They're 10 footers. Or they're 12, I'm not sure. I don't remember if they're 10s or 12. They look like 12s to me. They're long, so that'll be good because I won't have too many breaks in it, but I've got to put uh, piers underneath all the way down here. Yeah, so the, the whole thing is nice and level. Can't have any bends in it. Uh, let's see, did I do anything else? I still got another puzzle painting to go up. Actually, two. I said there's a lot of work to be done here yet. And I got to get this one back up there yet, too. And that's about where we're at, so... We're moving right along. Now, of course, the back wall and the left side wall is going to be a little different because I've got three dips for valleys, oceans, or lakes, or whatever they're going to wind up being. I'm not sure yet. So I have to I really have to do a lot of figuring to get that all in properly. Uh, let's see. I'm going to... I'm undecided what I want to do. I'm still looking at maybe half inch or, or slightly less, maybe three-eighths inch plywood for the tops and then flat the foam on top, one inch foam on top of that. But I tell you, if you guys have seen the price of the lumber lately, it's insanity. Piece of three-eighths plywood, just rough plywood, it's $45 for a four-blade sheet. And of course, since I'm going three foot, I'm going to lose a foot, but out of every third sheet, I'll have enough to build one, one full sheet with uh, each foot, three foot back. If that makes any sense. So at least I won't be a, there won't be a total loss. But still, I found some plywood that's, it's, it's, it's 11 30 seconds, which I think that's just under 3 eighths or 5 16, I'm not sure. But it's pretty thin, but it's more than quarter. And they want 24 98 a sheet, so I think I'm going to go with that. I mean, I've got good brace here, so that's really not too much of a problem. I almost considered fiberboard, which is dirt cheap, but the fiberboard would be difficult to deal with, and I just don't think it's a good idea. So I'll save the fiberboard for my fascias. That's only $9 a sheet. Yeah, you gotta love that. So anyway, that's where we're at, and I don't want to drag this out too long. So... When I did buy two more cases, that one there, which I got stuff in, and this one here. And I tell you, these three have got all my train cars and engines in them. That's loaded down. <laughs> so I got a lot of stuff here. I got to get more, but there's still a lot of stuff there. Got a few boxes with buildings, trees, and that sort of thing in there. Got two more boxes there. The box on top has all my cars and trucks in it, and it's full. 
And then there's two other boxes there with buildings and what have you in there. And that's pretty much all the train stuff. I've got everything in here now, I think. <laughs> so, except for my, uh, my steel file cabinet that's got to come in yet. And I have a small box sitting on top of that. Which I think there's just some uh, knickknacks in that one. So anyway, that's where we're at. So until next time, thanks for watching my semi-interesting build video. <laughs> and uh, keep it on the rails, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye.